On the outskirts of Las Vegas lie the abandoned remnants of Three Kids Mine, an open pit manganese mining operation that was active in the early 1900s. Large concrete ruins of an on-site processing mill are still here today and have become a canvas for graffiti artists. The most famous art piece being a giant wheel modeled after a popular game show, giving this site the nickname The Wheel of Misfortune. Okay, we just pulled up to the parking area. I'm gonna walk up this hill here. There's a big like storage area for a bunch of RVs and boat storage right over there. So you kind of just pull off right afterwards and hike right up here to get to the mine. I have heard you can park right over there. There's like a little bike shop, but they charge you about five bucks to go and park. So if you don't wanna do that, you can just park on the side of the road and walk right up here. Only had to walk a few minutes before coming up on kind of the first structure here. This is some of the remnants of a plant that they used to kind of process the magnesium. And they're really big, wow. Look at this. This one is the one that has the skull kind of in the bottom of it. It's pretty neat. Super cool. Old spray paint cans all over the place. Crazy. Try to hop up over here. That wasn't too bad. Oh, this is one of the pits. Heard about that. Crazy. Wow. Look at that. These like underground tunnels that go through here. Wild. Huh. A big spot right up here. I don't know if you can really get the scale of these these things, but these are at least like 150 feet across. So they're really big. You can see the top of one over there that looks like it's still kind of intact. So I want to go check that out. Super cool. There's just tons of spray paint cans. Really good spot to and even more down there. Wow. I was just thinking to myself walking around here like this is a really good spot if you want to do some graffiti art. And I heard some music and sure enough there's somebody over there that's like cleared up a wall and is working on something so. So from what I understand, this area that we're walking through right now was all part of the processing. The peak production of this place was like in the 40s, right around World War II. But from what I understand, uh, it did kind of operate slowly until the 60s. And then it's just been left ever since. I wanna walk up over here because I see another one of these guys. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Okay, so yeah, so this is one the centerpiece is like fully intact. That's crazy looking. Oh look, there's an old mini boat over here, her jet ski. 
That's kind of cool. Look at that thing. So this one over here, that's the one that looks like the Wheel of Fortune. Which is where this place got the nickname, the Wheel of Misfortune. I think in 2012, a uh, graffiti artist came in here and spent a long time painting this whole thing up. But all the squares say like bankrupt and like zero dollars and lose your home and all sorts of stuff that can happen if you gamble in Vegas a lot. Little uh, commentary towards Las Vegas and the casinos, which you can see the skyline from here, which is kind of crazy. But, yeah, what a trip. This looks like another one of those big pits. Wow. So much shit in there. I wonder where those go. Echo! turn this spot into a little skate park. I saw a little bit of info about that online, but there's like a little DIY skate park here, which I'm gonna go and take a little closer look at because that's really cool. Wow. Too cool. And here we come to the edge of the mine. Wow, this thing is huge. Dude. I think the best way to see this is from the air, so I'm gonna put the drone up while we still have a little bit of light. See how big this thing really is. The sun has just gone down and I've got like a little bit of time left to get back to my car before it gets dark. So I think that's gonna be it for this one. Really cool stop though. I'm glad I was able to kind of run around for a good half hour and really check stuff out. Super neat, definitely a cool spot to drone if you have a drone. If you have any questions about this spot, hit me up in the comments, I'll do my best to answer. And if you like this video, it really helps to support me if you hit that subscribe button, maybe give it a share and go check out some of the other videos that I've made too. The more support I get on this channel, the more I can spend time making videos like this. And I really like to do that. So I wanna focus more energy on it for sure. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.